Hi, this is Mark from Groupable, and today we're going to go over how you would edit an outstanding balance that is owed by a member for dues. Uh, you might want to do this, let's say, if a member situation has changed, or maybe their, mem their member category changed and you didn't do that before you generated and sent out the dues notices. This allows you to fix all that and make sure that everything is the proper amounts so when the member goes to pay, say they go to pay online, they're going to be paying the proper amount for dues. So I'm going to log in here and get started. And the first place I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to the dues in arrears screen and find someone who actually owes me dues because they got to owe me something. Well, actually, they don't have to owe me something. And I'll show you that here. I'm going to take you through the whole life cycle here. So I'm going to pick someone out here. And in the upper right hand corner, we have the dues owed. And you notice that we've got a pencil here. That allows you to change the amount that the member owes you. We also have a garbage can, which allows you to remove that. And we've got the plus sign that allows you to pick a year and put in an amount. So using these three tools of editing, removing, or adding, you can make a person's amount owed to your local group look like anything you want it to. So let's say that this member has uh, fallen on hard times and they can't afford to pay dues anymore. Maybe they've gone into a nursing home or there's something that's happened and we're actually going to change their member type to a waived so that they aren't liable for dues. And then all I have to do is click the garbage can and I can get rid of that. Or let's say that they are, they change to a different member type and maybe they were on wave before, but now they can afford the dues. They let you know that, but you've already sent out the bills. So it didn't get generated. So you change their member type here and then come over here and you can put in the year that it's for, put in the amount. And now that person would owe dues. So if they went to their member record in the portal, they would actually be able to pay the dues from there. And that's how you can basically manage anything about what a member owes for dues. Now, I would definitely say go and look at the overview video that we've done about the financials and the features and what the financial features are in M2 versus being necessarily like a bookkeeping system so they understand how the whole picture fits together here. Have a great day.